what's up with it y'all more like back with you again today we got an 084 escape i already started taking some stuff off because i didn't even know if i was gonna be able to complete the job today oh we leaking coolant let me find some to plug it hold on y'all hey when y'all be getting parts and stuff keep little stuff like that because like right there i got that the plug dead i got a uh old spark plug boot right here to plug that that one back there ain't leaking but i had to make sure i could fix that before i even continue with the job because the dealership can't even get that piece but luckily my local parts store had a t that just happened to fit and we was able to make some work so i'll show y'all that in a minute but anyway it's been a valve cover gasket type of uh, couple weeks and it looked the worst than this Trust me, I cleaned it off. So now I'm finna get all it off. Got the valve covers ordered. Well, they already had them, but they're on the way. Delivery by O'Reilly's. Shout out to my boys. They keep me. They keep you rolling. If they, they don't think that they slow, but anyway. So, oh, y'all need to let me know when I've been working on these cars. Do y'all want to see like time lapses? Y'all want to see me like touching everything? Do y'all want to see the whole process? What y'all want to see? Y'all got to let me know. Because, like, I just be doing, like, little clips and stuff. Oh, I got another clip. I don't know if it's going to come out before or after this video. Where I did some valve cover gas and stuff on the Ultima. I did. I put the GoPro up then. So, y'all got to let me know. Like, is this cool how I've been doing it? Or do y'all want me to go show y'all a little more? Like, y'all need to let me know. Get in the comments, y'all. I know y'all want gun video. They coming. I know y'all want shooting video. They coming. But this was making the money right now, so this is what we doing. Anyway, we finna get all this taken loose. We gotta pull the upper, the uh, plenum off, disconnect the throttle body, move the cord packs, move the wire harness, move a couple of hoses, you know. Gotta make sure we pull the dipstick out so we don't break it. Let me go on and start with that. Because it's right there. Go on start with that. Well, yep, customer has a real bad oil leak and a coolant leak. I don't know if you can see down in there, but that starter is wet. And down up in there, I'm going to clean it off again once I get done. But coolant was leaking down from this. It was a T that go from right here to here to the heater core. Oh, you can see the inlets. That little, little bit piping away. There you go. And a valve cover leaking oil. So we're going to get that off. We'll get back with you. We got the intake off. Intake ports covered up so we don't drop nothing. No debris get in there. I'm going to take a little compressed air and blow that little water off of it. All right, next we're gonna get the wire harness disconnected out the way, get the core packs out, and we're gonna get the pulley valve coils off. Look at that seal right there. It's blowed out. That one right there a little messed up. That one right there, I can't tell. It don't even look it look tight. Cause look how the other one is compressed down. Like the rest of them sitting on that lip on the actual valve coil. And then look at that one. It's not. Just something to note. That valve cover, that's, that's a bolt that goes to it. Y'all see? It's not even tight. Huh. The stuff you be finding. And yep, we got a leaky spark plug to seal. Try to clean it up. I don't even want to sit there in the chair. Let's check this one. Oh, that one ain't bad. Gonna get that cleaned up. Yeah, that one ain't bad. But that one right there was bad. So now I'm gonna hook up my little siphon tool thing and suck the oil out of there. Now, I saw this on TikTok, y'all, and I have used it. You get your tube, you hook up your shop air. 
Yeah, it's taking the oil out of there. You can use it to siphon all type of stuff. And just like that, we got the valve covers off. We just had a delivery for our new valve cover set. Valve cover gasket set. With all the all the gaskets we finna get. The surface cleaned up. On both sides of the head. Well, on both heads. And we finna slap these gaskets in. Little RTV in a couple spots like right here where the two case halves meet. Front timing cover and all that. A little silicone on them spots, but we probably do it on the cover with the gasket. Then put those in place. But like I say, we finna take a actually we finna take a water break. Finna get us some water, get this cleaned up, get the gaskets on, and get it back to go. Y'all see that surface shining? Y'all see the top of the head shining? Y'all see it? I got the back oh the back coat sitting right there. Y'all see the back one? But anyway, just this you see how the front shine, I did the back the same way. Anyway, we got the yeah, I'm still reusing the old valve cover. It's, I cleaned it up best I could, but we got the new gasket installed, the new grommets, spark plug tube seal. So what I'm finna do for the RTV, you got four spots on this valve cover. And I think it's only two on the other one. Yep, it's only two on the other one. Here, I can need to get a parts washer so I can try to clean these up. So we're gonna get RTV on those and we're gonna get it back together. So we don't need a lot, just a dab. Seal up them case halves and if when we're the actual head separate from the time chain. And on the back, you got the uh back half for that. See this where that's gonna seal it up. Gonna seal that one. That one, and if the camera by shit, if I show, if I show y'all, and that one up down there, and on this side it's gonna seal up the two on the front, I mean the two on the uh, back, which is one right there on my finger, and the other one on the back side. So let me get these back on. I get back with you. Now, if you don't have a mirror. You should, especially on something like this, so you can go around the back and look and make sure the gasket didn't fall out. Make sure you didn't lose a bolt, you know, cause you're on the back side and you really can't see. So have your mirror. And just like that, got our valve covers back on, spark plug, I mean, core packs back installed now it's going to be trying to put the intake on fix that coolant hose and send it on by this way Josh finally here well, anyway we got this back together this is what I was talking about with that coolant hose I don't know if y'all can see but I went to the parts store, found a T, and put it back together. Took off what Ford had. Oh, that's the heater core holes at the top. And then it also connect to the bottom of the throttle body. But that's the way Ford should have did. They should have just made it serviceable. Three clamps on it, call it a day. They put a clamp right here. And I believe did they, I believe that clamp had FOCO on it. Ford Motor Company. Oh, FOMO, FOMOCO. Ford Motor Company. But anyway, it's back together. We're gonna put the uh, airbox hose and that little cover on and crank it up. Right here, I'm showing it. Just showed y'all that cooling leak. What I fixed. Then I noticed the reservoir was leaking. I had to order one. That was a few weeks ago when I actually shot the video, but I installed it today. And I'm just now editing this video today. But anyway, we got that fixed. Got the 
oil leak fixed. We got the cooling leak fixed and everything good to go. Had to do my own voiceover, but it's all good. Anyway, we got everything fixed. Catch you next time.